Hi everyone, Giuliano here. In this video, I'll show you how you can build a Gantt chart in a Microsoft or SharePoint list. This sample is provided by a user, Tetsuya Kawahara. He is contributing a lot in an open source project available on GitHub. You can find a lot of examples that allows you to change and modify the look and feel of a SharePoint list. So let's move forward and I'll show you every step. Here I am on my PC and I have GitHub in the browser open. This is the Microsoft 365 community account called BMP. And more specifically, I am here in the project list formatting. This is an open source project, community driven, where you can find a lot of samples in order to change the look and feel on a SharePoint list. You can find this link in the description of this video. Let's explore now the important folders of this project. And there we go, column samples and form samples. Let's start with column samples. Here you can find a lot of samples that allow you to change the look and feel of a specific column in a SharePoint list. Clicking now, for example, on this one, text contains, we can see that you can change a little bit the look and feel of the text in a specific column of a SharePoint list. Going back now, I want to show you view samples. Clicking here and then butterfly chart format, we can see that we can display this kind of look and feel of a SharePoint list. This is very nice. And in order to do that, all you need to do is just to copy a JSON and then apply this JSON in a SharePoint list. I'll show you in a bit how you can do that. Now, as I said in the introduction of this video, I want to show you a specific sample that allows me to have a Gantt chart in a SharePoint list. And this is the specific sample that you can find under list formatting column samples. And it's called a generic early Gantt chart. So in this sample, we are able to change the look and feel of a column, in this case, Gantt chart. So in order to have this nice timeline. So there are some requirements that we have to follow. The first one is that we have to create columns start and end as daytime. And then we have to create an additional column, Gantt chart, call it for example, and this should be a single line of text. Once you have done that, you are ready to go with this sample. Now clicking on the JSON file, we can see that this is exactly the JSON that we need in order to build this kind of look and feel. Here I am now in office.com. I want to start to create a new Microsoft or SharePoint list and then I will apply this sample in order to have a Gantt chart view. Okay, let me click on the waffle menu in the top right corner and then I will click on Microsoft Lists. Here I will land on the welcome page of Microsoft Lists. It's time to create a new list. Then I will click on the button New List. Here I will start from scratch, then I will select blank list. Here I will type a name for my list and this would be team engagement. Then I will select an icon for that. I will select clipboard, a color orange, my favorite color. And then I will target a specific team, a specific sharp point site. And this would be IT. Okay, let me set show inside navigation and then I will click on create. And this is my list team engagement just created. We have only the title column, but we have seen before that we have to follow some requirement in order to build this view. We have to create additional columns, two daytimes columns and the last one, Gantt chart, single line of text. So now let me go back on this list and let me create new columns. I will create now the start column. So I will type start. Then this would be a date and time. I don't want to include time and I don't want to have the friendly, friendly format. Okay, all good. I will set also required as column and then I will click on save. I can move to the next and this would be again a daytime column and 
I will click on more option in order to set this column as required. And let's go now with the last one. Let me just add exactly this name. So click again on add column, single line of text, scan chart. And there we go. I will click now on save. So let me add now some items in this list. Click on the new button and then I will add project A. I will select a date and this will start from today and this will end to 9. GAN chart will be blank. Let me save. Let me add a new one. This would be project B. Start date would be 1st July and will end. 30 July, can chart blank again, let me save. And now let's go with the last item, project C. This will start in parallel, um, would be 12, 30 July, and save. There we go. It's time now to change the layout of a Gantt chart column. Let me clarify that you have two ways to change the layout of a SharePoint list. You can apply a list formatting or a column formatting. This means that you can change in the first case the layout of the entire view. Or you can just change the layout of a single column and this is my case. I want to just change the layout of the Gantt chart column. And in order to do that I have to jump again on this project on GitHub then I will click on the JSON file. Now here I have to copy this JSON file. So I will copy this one now and then I will go back on the list. In the Gantt chart column I will click now and then I will go on column settings and finally format this column. Below we have advanced mode. Let me click on it. Now I'm able to paste my JSON. So let me select everything and I will paste my JSON. Here we go. This is exactly what will be rendered in the column. Okay, let me click now on preview. We can see immediately that the timeline in this column appear and we have this bar that appear exactly in the period of the time that I specified. Now I want to make some changes because I want to focus on months. And we have here 1, 3, 5, 7, 9 and 11. I want to add other months, for example. In order to do that, we have to check exactly in which part of the JSON there is this data. And it is exactly here. So in this part, we are going to tell to SharePoint that in this exactly point, the number here should be rendered and the, the text content would be 1, 3, 5. All we need to do here is just add in this part of this JSON additional lines where we can specify that we want to have 2, we want to have 4, and we want to have 6. Let me add every month now. 8, 9, we have 10, and then I will add the last one. Let me add a comma here. I have to remove a comma, and then we have 12. If I click on preview now, I can see additional numbers. Now I have all months, and this is exactly what I want to have. This is my nice gun chart on a SharePoint list. I can apply this thing clicking on the save button and now if I refresh this page this look and feel will be maintained. Now I want to highlight just the part which is interesting for me where we can exactly display this bar here and we have even a tooltip and this is exactly the point. We have a max width, we have width left it, it works like a calculated column so you can grab information based on other columns on the start column for example 
Then there is also the hand column. So you can grab the value of specific columns and then you can use it how, as you want. Here we have the start display value, the hand display value. And this is the div that appear when I go over this bar. So this is exactly the value that I can see, start and end date. And it is exactly this part. So where we have start display value and hand display value. So that's it. This is a fantastic way to change the look and feel of a SharePoint list. So I can refresh now this page and here we go. As you can see, we have this new nice look and feel. Now let me go on the teams and let me go on the team where I added this new list. And this is the IT team. Now I will click on the plus button in order to add a new tab. And then I will click on lists. Now I want to show you that you can embed easily this new list just created in Microsoft Teams, allowing you to stay always in this tool. Now I will click on add an existing list. And this is the team engagement list. Clicking on this one, here we go. I have this nice list embedded in Microsoft Teams now. All right, we have seen in this tutorial how to create a Gantt chart in a Microsoft or SharePoint list. If you enjoyed this video, please give a like and subscribe to my channel to stay tuned with my next videos. Put a comment down below if you want to see me cover any other topics in the future. This is exactly how I build my to-do list for my next videos. I hope to see you next time. Bye.